Well, all right, so today's project is one of these uh, zero gravity recliner deck chair things. You've probably seen them before. You can sweep them back and forth like that. And they're great. It's lasted a long time. The material's still good. <clears throat> the problem is I've had another one already that where this this stuff bring it in a little closer here you can see what I'm talking about you can see the uh, um, flexible cord that goes along here is is breaking and it's the same thing here you can see how it's frayed and it's on its way out so today we're gonna put this webbing back on we're gonna get that all wound in there and I'll show you what I'm gonna do on that so we'll get started So, I was also going to show you, this came from Amazon, it's no big deal, they've got a bunch of different versions of it, but you can see right there what you'd need to order if you want to get this material, and that's enough for both sides on these, these kinds of chairs. Apparently it's kind of universal, so if you've got one of these kind of chairs, that this is the lace you want to get. So they come with instructions, you can see it there, you might be able to read it. But it says always do one side at a time when relacing. The laced side will be the pattern reference for the following while relacing the other side. And you get four pieces of lacing, two long and two short. So the short pieces are for the backrest part. That's up in here. So there's two short pieces that'll go here and here, and two longer pieces that go down here and here. So so it's all good uh, advice. So you can see on this side that this, this one's pretty much intact. So I can use this one as a pattern when I do this one. So that's how I'm going to do that. So if you have yours in place, uh, you pick the one that's in better shape and just follow that pattern on it. You can see the pattern on this is, is sometimes they're going through on individual holes so it starts here and goes through on individual holes and then sometimes it doubles up like there there and there I'm not sure why but there's probably something to do with the uh, this is going to take more load up in here so these up in here are all doubled up I can't quite see that and then it goes to single down in here so we'll get started All right, so this will be a little easier to see if we're looking down on it like this. So the first thing is I'll take all this out of here. So you can see the bits and pieces of it are kind of wiped out. But we just start taking it all out of there. Kind of ugly chunks. Probably be easier if I cut it, but... Yeah, in fact, I think it will. Nastiest old scissors ever. But they're good and sharp and they cut well. And so I'll just go through and chop them out of there. There we go. So that's one side. I hope you can see that it's you're doing this section here. You can see it over there, that section there. We're doing that's a, one lace is here, one lace is there. This will be a long lace, and that'll be a long lace. And then we have these are the short laces up in here. So we'll get all this junk out of here. There we go. And you see this. This little pin here, that's at the, you've got that on your, these at the end of them. Get the longer ones out here first. So you can see you have these pins on the end and they'll rotate around. So if you look at how the pins are hooked on, there, you shove it through. You shove it through, and then it. You shove it through the hole like this. You can 
can see that. So that goes through the hole and then this rotates around and just hooks on there. So put it through the hole, rotate it around, and it's hooked on. Let me bring you down for a closer view here. You can see under there, I hope. Well, maybe not. It's right here. You can see, let's see here, there we go. You can see that the hook is underneath there now, and it won't let this come through because the hook is turned sideways like that. All right, so we're back to lacing. So, now it's a matter of putting it through these holes, and if you see the other side over here, there's two loops coming through. So I've got to go through that hole twice, which means I take this end and I'll come back through the hole. trick is you don't want to pull them too tight. You want to have a little bit of space there. So I'm going to go down through here again. And it'll give me two loops on that one. And I guess the other thing is just make sure the loops look nice. So get them so that they're you know, they're kind of side by side. see that but there's there now uh, you can't see that <laughs> you can see the the loops are now side by side here so it looks like this side here just just so they look nice that's all and then we just keep going so now I'm gonna go over here to the next hole and it weaves up comes up through this hole and through that one like that and I think that's right yep and then the same thing just keep going put that up in there keep weaving these things through so you can see that that didn't take very long at all so I'm going to do one more here and then I'll, I'll fast forward so you can see what it looks like when I'm all done there's one there So, here's what it looks like so far. Do a close-up. 
can see this is what we've been weaving. That's what we'll continue on. And you can see the weave pattern is not very complicated, just through, and then it, it's got this little little bit that goes, oops, I'm sorry, I'm not pointing at it there. So it weaves through, then it's got this little strap that comes over to here, and then this one comes over to here, and then that one comes over to there. And you can see that it looks very much like that side. So, we will, I will continue on with this, oops, and then I'll bring you back when I've got that side. All right, so here we are, We're all the way down here. You can see underneath that this is where the loop came in. That's the little pin that you get into there. The only tricky thing is right here when you're turning the corner, when you come around this corner and you're, you're looping in here, it's just a little tricky. I followed the pattern over here and it all came together nicely. So just be mindful that uh, when you turn that corner, <clears throat> you want to watch that pattern over there um, and the other thing is is this this was just the right length it wasn't too long it says in the instructions it might be a little longer than you need but this one was um, just right in fact I had to tighten these up just a little to get enough for down here so I could get this final loop in there but there's one side done and we'll continue on all right so this side's done right here this is the second side and all the way down to the bottom. I actually stretched a little tighter on this side than this one, so I had a little bit more down here at the bottom, but I, I just don't think that's going to make much difference. This is, doesn't see a lot of load down here, so it's all good. So now we'll get started on those two up there. And again, the same thing goes on, is that you want to follow the pattern, and you can see the, the little hooks are in the back here. You can see that there see on the other side so we'll follow that same pattern all the way down here and we'll uh, we'll get that all done so I'll get started on getting one out and I'll start it up again all right so this side's done you can see it comes down here pretty much follows the one that was here you can see on the back side here there we go gotta get it focused Here's the old one. We'll go ahead and start to take that out and do the same thing. In fact, what I'll do is shoot this from the back side. Okay, so here we go. We'll cut these out. Pretty straightforward. Just get them all out of there. And I think the important thing here is that it's not that it has to be perfectly the same as was there before. It just has to be um, woven in so that you get the strength out of it and make it look nice at the same time. All right, so there's the old stuff out. And here's the new one. So again, we'll come through like this and start it like that. And then it just starts to weave. Like that. Just gonna shove it by that metal piece there. There we go. So you just gotta keep pulling this around. It's a little bit of a snug fit. So, and then uh, down to this next hole. And on this one, it's just a single weave down to the bottom, so it goes pretty fast. Oops, bumping into you there. Sorry about that. And just keep weaving it through. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'd say that this this may have taken me 
you know, really just about a half an hour to do. Keep stretching it out there. And we're getting down here and you can see that it doesn't look like I got enough to do all these but that's just because this is needs to be stretched so you got to come in here and keep kind of pulling this around keep stretching it around here you can see how much extra I get by doing that Do doubles on these four. So I'm going to get it stretched down here nice and tight. There we go. So I'll do a double loop on this one. Down to here. A double loop there. Again, it's looking like I don't have enough, doesn't it? Just keep stretching and should be enough on there to get double loops on everything here. Maybe stretch at the end, but that's all right. You don't want it you want it good and tight. can't even see what I'm doing there, can you? There we go. Okay, so here I am at the end, and I went back and restretched all of these so that I could have plenty. And the only trick here is you want to come around to the front and through to the back. I'm going to stretch it out again here. There we go. through and lock it in place and we are done so there we go there's the chair all restrung so I recommend strongly I think it was eight bucks for the material at um, at Amazon and it's something that uh, just about anybody can do and you got a new chair out of the deal so good luck with that all right so here they are both of them Restrung. You can see this is the one I did before. It's still in good shape. This is the one we just did. One for the daddy bear, one for the mama bear. <laughs> so they're back in action and ready for some serious reclining. All right, talk to you all later.